When I was growing up, I absolutely loved reading. And did your class ever have book logs? Like it would be a sheet of paper and you would write down the date, the name of the book, and how many pages you read. Well, I was an overachiever and wanted to show off my reading skills with those book logs. In the third grade, I was a big fan of the Magic Treehouse series. And if you've read these books, congratulations, we're officially best friends. Every day, I would read one of these books in its entirety. Again, I was an overachiever. How on earth is my eyesight still good? I would go to the public library every week and check out as many books as they would let me get. I knew the librarian and she was such a nice person. What hey, you back again? Uh-huh. And this one time I made her a drawing and she hung it up in the library. <laughs> and your boy felt like a celebrity. Guys, don't touch my art. This is a prized possession. Picasso 2.0. The librarian was such a great person. However, as time progressed, my reading habits would change. Cause after I finished the entire Magic Treehouse series, again, finishing the entire series of books at the time, which was like 50. I can't believe I read all those books. And after I finished them, I didn't know what I was to read. What hey, you should read bigger books since you are far past your reading level. But I was so used to the Magic Treehouse series where I could read one book in its entirety, all in one day. And with these new bigger books, it would take me a week. And for some reason, I would get demotivated. Cause the less books I would read, quote unquote, the less I would visit the library. And the more I would forget to renew and return my books. And surprise, surprise, the more late fees. But librarian, I just finished the book. Oh, it's okay, Jorge. At least you enjoyed the book and it's only a day late. I'll clear your late fees this time around. Yeah, she was a real one. <laughs> However, once I entered middle school, book logs were no longer a thing. And the school actually chose which books we had to read. And the bright side was they actually provided us these books. Although they were kind of raggedy and old, but hey, I didn't have to go to the library anymore. Again, I stopped going to the library. However, in sixth grade, I'd say around this time a year in September, I was cleaning out my room and out of nowhere. Wait, what? Oh snap! Yep, I found a book that I checked out in March that I never returned. April, May, June, wait, that's like six months! I was actually freaking out and I decided to hide it in a box. I never talked about it and made sure to never show my face in the library ever again. For two or three months, I forget about the book. You know, I feel like nobody noticed that the book was overdue. But fast forward to December, my mom comes to me when I get home from school. And she had a letter in her hand from the Providence Public Library. Mijo, what's this? She wasn't mad or nervous, she was just concerned and I checked the letter and it's a bill for a book among the hidden date checked out March 12th eight months past due late fee $189 what Woo! I could have bought the entire among the hidden series and no kindle fire with that kind of money Mijo, do you have the book um tell me you have the book let's just not return it what's the worst that can happen but as I read the fine print in that letter an overdue library book can result in a federal crime <laughs> Imagine I go to jail for a $6 paperback book. I didn't even finish reading it. Bro, you had like a year to finish it. Be quiet, bro. Don't make me feel bad about myself. Anyways, I guess we had to go to the library and show our faces. I was literally crying when we were walking inside and my mom looked so mad. We showed the letter to the librarian and her eyes popped. Because she had nothing to do with it. That letter came from the city. <laughs> and we had the book too. It was in perfect condition. Yeah, because you didn't even read it. Bro, that's not the point. <laughs> Anyways, the librarian... Bless her soul. Because she made an appeal. She came up with an appeal to say that we went to Guatemala. That we left in March and throughout that whole time, we literally couldn't return the book. Which I thought was absolutely bizarre. But hey, in our defense again, the book wasn't destroyed or damaged. It was in great shape. Yeah, because you never read it. If you say that one more time. Anyways, we were actually forgiven the $189 fee. But my mom said one thing to me. To never return to the library and actually buy my books from now on. Clink, clink, clink. Yes, sir. Follow the Instagram. Yeah, dude, that was actually insane. $189. Buggy. <laughs> Shut up, bro. <laughs>